He will throw it here on first down, though, and a strike. Out past the 40-yard line is Keegan Johnson still going. And the true freshman into Purdue territory and finally knocked out of play. Well, the Iowa coaches kept talking about him in our meeting. Petrus with time. High throw. It's picked off at the 25-yard line by Douglas. Told we could see three different quarterbacks in this game. Second down and six. And here's a wide receiver screen and a first down. Out past the 41-yard line is Milton Wright. That's his 19th catch of the season. Nice play call, nice execution on the screen. And here comes an end-around Anthrop. They only have two running backs. In fact, they only have one. Grew up in Pittsburgh, idolized longtime Steeler coach Chuck Knoll. They run Goodson a huge weight off the left side and cut down at the 27-yard line by Dedrick Mackey. Otherwise, he might still be running. And also an injury, but he had seven and a half sacks two years ago. Pass play here, and here comes a sack. Nowhere to go for Petrus. Branson Dean with his second sack of the year. Jack Plummer is in the game now at quarterback. So Purdue playing its second quarterback, and he keeps it here and has a huge running lane. Across the 45-yard line, it's a gain of 12 for Jack Plummer. O'Connell back in at quarterback. Iowa brings five. And the pass is pulled in inside the 25-yard line by Sheffield for a first down. Two weeks to practice this and give these guys the reps. He keeps it here, Plummer, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. O'Connell steps up, keeps it, and dives in the end zone for the Purdue touchdown. I mean, wouldn't it be oh, shocking nice. at this point if it was Spencer Rattler? Uh, yes, it would. <laughs> it would be very surprising, to say the least. Big play again in the backfield by Jenkins. He's been back there a bunch. Pressure on three of the last four against the Hawkeyes. Iowa rushes five, and here is David Bell out in space. Look out! Bell into Iowa territory. They're trying to catch him at the 30. He's pushed and finally runs out of bounds. A pitch to Doru in trouble in the backfield and dragged down for a loss by Zach Van Valkenburg. They just missed a short field goal. Hawkeyes take over. And they're going to run Goodson here in trouble. And down he goes in the backfield. Lawrence Johnson was back there first. A four-yard loss. A 68-point win, which uh, is a nail-biter. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Probably weren't many. As uh, Petrus finds an open man, it's caught. And Sam Laporte of the tight end with his second grab, breaking some tackles. So first and five for the Hawkeyes as they inch closer to midfield again. And they'll keep it on the ground. And a lot of running room here for Goodson inside the 40. And finally, knocked out of bounds inside the 30 by Cam Allen. We got fullbacks, we got DeLoreans, we got two tights. And just to finish that pun, it, it is 1985, the last time they were number two. And to the goal line and into the end zone, Kelly Martin for the Iowa touchdown. According to reports, no Steve Kine, the GM, and others as well. Chandler Jones out, O'Connell's throw is caught for a first down across the 40-yard line. That's seventh in the country. O'Connell off his back foot on a jump ball, and it's caught. What a grab that time by Brock Thompson. Got to be the primary read here for O'Connell. O'Connell rolling right, throwing, and it's caught by Sheffield for a Purdue touchdown. The Hawkeyes just take a knee after the kickoff, or if they try to run the offense here. A line drive right to Charlie Jones. And Jones has passed the 35-yard line, and now they definitely will bring their offense on the field here. Play fake here, setting up, taking a shot, going for David Bell, it's pulled in inside the 25-yard line. He got some separation from the outstanding corner, Matt Hankins. They had only three in the last three games total. O'Connell gets hit! 28-yard line by Seth Benson. 31-yard try. He missed from 32 in the first half. Hugging the left upright, but it's good. College football fans to enjoy, no doubt. Petras on third and six to Goodson. And he's tripped up enough to get him down. Mackey made the play. It's a loss. It's fourth down. Instead, 
Ball's on the 25. Doru gets a carry here, and he can't get away from Jack Kerner. A 4.30 local time. They've passed Dusty Dvorak, Tom Lugan, Bill. Play action here. O'Connell with another long throw, and Bell is there to make the catch and run. Bell is over 150 receiving yards on the day. But it's happening today. Doru on the run. Spun down. At the line of scrimmage, Luke Van Ness. Thrower off the field and put the more mobile quarterback in. It's an option, and the pitch to Doru with a head of steam. Breaks a tackle and gets the first down. O'Connell back in, rolling out, throwing, and what a catch, reaching out for the end zone. Well, a lot has changed. Not only was it not a touchdown, it's a touchback. Let me explain. As the receiver here, Sheffield, is trying to reach the ball out. Watch, it actually comes out. It leaves his hand. That's a live ball. If it hits the pylon, it's a touchback, which means it's Iowa ball. So instead of a 24-7 game, Iowa gets the ball back. It is play action. Petrus in trouble, and he's going to get sacked. They wanted to go down the field. No time for Petrus to get set and deliver the football. Second and 18. Trouble again. And it's Karloftis with the sack at the 10-yard line of Petrus. Muck it up there. Look at these guys walking around trying to confuse the offensive line and where it's coming from. O'Connell gets rid of it. Oh, it's caught for a first down. It's David Bell who's there again. But well, Purdue's had the ball essentially this entire half. Yeah. O'Connell, pump fake, thrown to the end zone, and the ball is on the money. It's caught for a touchdown by David Bell. He's got well over 2,000 yards in his career, the fastest to do it in Purdue history. He did it in 22 games. Big Ten freshman of the year two years ago. On the return, Kelly Martin, and he's still going into Purdue territory at the 30, and finally knocked out of bounds at the 20. Petrus pass over the middle is picked off. That's going to end the game. Cam Allen read it. They had several things that they wanted to improve on in the bye week. You can check every one of those here today against Iowa. If you're shuffling in quarterbacks, will it affect the starter and no ill effects whatsoever for number 16? There's Jones. And Jones inside the 35, breaks to the perimeter. Inside the 10, and he gets tripped up. 2.37 to go. Iowa trying to get the ball in the end zone here quick. And Petrus's pass is intercepted again. You want to be ranked 11th or lower, no matter what. <laughs> no Do you know how safe. difficult it's going to be for them? Petrus sacked by Jenkins. That's the fourth sack of Spencer Petrus in this ballgame. They will run one more play here. Petrus throws high. Another interception picked off by Cam Allen. An outstanding overall performance by Jeff Brom's Boilermakers, who have more wins, Purdue, in its history against top two teams as an unranked squad than anybody in the history of the game. Twice as many as anybody.